welcome to today's session today we'll be talking on led manufacturing session 2 because we have discussed some basic understanding about led manufacturing process in session 1 Additive manufacturing is also called 3D printing or rapid prototyping. Those who have not attended the session 1, I would request them to watch the session 1 also because session 1 is very much connected with this session 2. Otherwise, you may not get interest or may not get the link actually. Okay. So, what is the basic difference between conventional manufacturing process and this additive manufacturing process? In conventional manufacturing process, if we talk about the machining, fabrication, uh, casting, forging, in all the cases, concept is say my finish weight of the product is x kg, then the raw material, input raw material weight is always higher. Maybe 20 percent, maybe 10 percent, maybe 30 percent, maybe 40 percent higher. So, concept is we take a bigger size of material, cut that material to give the desired shape, whether to fabrication or machining. So, basically, we are wasting a huge amount of material by conventional manufacturing process, right? And not only the material, lot of resources to create the scrap. Additive manufacturing concept is totally different rather the reverse. It starts with zero material and layer by layer, micro layer say 50 micron, 60 micron layer, it creates the desired geometry of the product. You can see there are a lot of products uh, in the screen that metallic material, non-metallic material, even high strength metallic material or high temperature resistance metallic items are produced nowadays in 3D printing process or additive manufacturing process and it is day by day getting you know popular. So, as I discussed in the session 1, what are the basic 8 steps in 3D printing or additive manufacturing process? In this session, I will discuss what are the difficulties or problem comes in those steps. So, 8 steps are number 1 is 3D CAD model generation. So, whatever be the uh, component you are going to make with 3D printing process, you have to have a 3D CAD model for that, whether by conventional uh, software with ProE, Katia, SolidWorks, Creo, Unigraphics or by 3D scanning process. So, you have to have a good CAD model, 3D model for that component, then CAD model needs to be converted into STL file, which is basically if you visualize the STL file, it will looks like a triangular mesh kind of things. Then this STL file needs to be put into machine language or additive manufacturing machines needs to be fed it. Then the machine will check it from different manufacturing point of view with respect to the additive manufacturing process. Then the machine setup like what should be the speed of this uh, uh, you know uh, process or your uh, printer's head, what should be the temperature, what should be the layer thickness or slicing types etc. And number 5 is the building making the component which is mostly automatic. Number 6 step is the removal of the component from the machine bed. And number 7 is the post processing after removing there are a lot of process for finishing the items and finally is the application. Now I will discuss today the what are those difficulties in each process. In step 1 or the first step what are the problem comes in 3D model. Those who are into design engineering department or profession they know very well when someone creates a 3D model there might be some small small inaccuracy or imperfection in the model which does not matter with respect to the making a 2D manufacturing drawing from that model or other design analysis. But when that model is giving as a uh, input for any manu 
any you know cam or computer aided manufacturing system like led manufacturing then it matters any minor defects in the cad model machine will highlight it and machine will give an indication there is something wrong say in some cases what happens there is a very complicated surface in a 3d model and lot of uh, three four surfaces comes together for a particular zone and you are not able to smoothen those areas and somehow manage to show a 3d image but this machine will machine language will catch up and then you have option to go back to your software if possible to correct or machine can do that corrections also so first your 3d model will be checked before get into an STL model like a radius problem uh, there, there are a lot of sharp corner problem overhang problem support uh, problem etc and the second thing comes STL conversion when you are going to convert this into STL STL is basically triangular elementary actually in finite element analysis you will find that when 3d model is given for so it creates a small kind of as small as possible triangular mesh so, but if there is some error in the 3d model some cases this mesh generation may be a problem then your model needs to be corrected so these are the kinds of uh, design related or model related problem comes in 3d printing process then in third cases say you are making some model has got complicated geometry and you have thought of that this model can be making by slicing in this direction and by layering this model can be created so before making the actual model physically in the machine 3d printing machine has an option for a dummy run so machine head will try to put a dummy run and there might if there is any problem in uh, actual cases then dummy run will show that that this is the problem you cannot do the slicing in that direction or you have to go this kind of things for making such a layer selection for 3d printing approach there are different kinds of approach for layer selection or how you do be layering or building the component in 3d uh, printing process this STL transferring systems and fourth is the you know this uh, machine setup repair of the STL file say you can see here in this picture some uh, round component it has got some error due to the 3d model creation and machine will show this kind of a uh, hole will come if you do not repair this then you have to repair in different stages finally you get a smooth surface and then you can give it to for machine for making the actual component so uh, till now one two three four points I have discussed that is related with the creating a perfect and accurate 3d CAD model to give as an input for the uh, 3d manufacturing process now I'll be discussing when everything is done now building of the uh, component is starts what will happen or what kind of problem will come there are about eight nine points will come one is the cracking crack may come in your component Rappage will come in the component, Z oblique will come in the problem, layer may be shifted, your layer in the 3D model component will sh may shifted actually, stringing problem may come. What are those problems actually? I will discuss in detail. Overheating problem will come in the component, then elephant foot uh, will come, then the bed leveling issue will come and finally the nozzle clogging issue will come during this building process. So, you can see here in this picture this cracking when the 3D model is generated layer by layer, very fine layer 50 microns, 80 micron. Then there is a due to different reason like poor addition between the layer, lot of thermal shrinkage etc. Crack may generate in the layer. So, component may get rejected. So, this is one of the problem cracking on the in between layers. Number two building problem is the wrappage like you will start building the component by layer bottom layer so you will find that after uh, creation of the component maybe in mid stage you your bottom layer will you know get removed uh, or you know release addition from the machine bed so the you know so th this is a very big problem you cannot uh, control that actually 
in between. So, you have to reject the component maybe in, in between process or you will find that after the process is done. There is a solution for that this kind of component you need to create a very adhesive base with a different kind of material with the machine bed which will hold the actual component and after the component is manufactured that holding component will be removed from the main component actually. So, this can be one of the solution. So, depending on the component geometry uh, those who are the specialist of 3D processing uh, 3D uh, manufacturing building they can do that layer shifting say by 3D printing is a process which comes layer by layer the component height is generated. In many cases you will find that a lot of layer or bunch of layer got shifted. So, basically component got rejected actually. So, this shifting has got different like excessive uh, temperature in the motor of the machine head printer head you can say that may causes uh, shifting of the layer mechanical failure in the head area or hot bearing got heated not giving a smooth movement of the universal head. So, that may causes layer shifting of the component Z obli is basically vertical directions shifting because 3D printing in any cases either your machine head is fixed and your bed is going down giving a space to create the component or otherwise. So, in any cases Z direction is very important in 3D printing or additive manufacturing process. Number uh, 5 this problem in building stage of 3D printing that is stringing. Stringing is say you are going to make a hollow box kind of things section in 3D printing process and you will find that in between when you are creating the layer uh, uh, this outer layer in between the wall you will find that very fine string kind of things thread kind of things will come that is a defect in 3D printing process. But that is not a very serious defect that will not hamper your dimensions geometry, but that is an additional material which needs to be removed after the component is finished. And obviously, it may give an you know surface quality of the area where this stringing has come out. So, stringing is obviously another production problem in the manufacturing process, then the overheating and due to overheating material sometimes got curled at the end and finally, it is a defective products. So, overheating may be due to high speed of the your printer head, maybe temperature setting is not correct. Another problem comes in building stage is called elephant foot. Say your component has got a rectangle section say 300 by 200 and after building you will find that at your bottom area gradually increasing maybe 305 mm, 205 mm due to the weight of the material or layers thickness or so many other reasons this is called elephant foot. And the bed leveling is very important as I said in 3D printing process bed of the machine is very important you have to check it whether it is very much perfect or not before if needed adjustment is there adjustment can be done in the CNC process as well as manual depending on the machines whether it is a big machine high or is a precision machine, but that needs to be checked. And the very common issues is clogging of the nozzle. The whether it is a metallic uh, 3D printing machine or non-metallic, this molten material will come through the nozzle only. So, nozzle needs to be cleaned regularly. Uh, there is a system in most of the 3D printing process nozzle cleaning. Like in conventional CNC machining uh, equipment, uh, we have ATC automatic tool changer. So, automatic nozzle cleaning system is also there with most of the advanced uh, ready manufacturing machine and nozzle also needs to be changed because nozzle has also got life as per the manufacturer recommendation you need to change the nozzle, nozzle uh, so that machine can give better performance quality and accuracy. Okay. And one of the most important parameter for a 3D printing process or additive manufacturing process is speed of the machine head. It is a very, very important parameter like in welding, in we do welding, MIG welding or different kind of arc welding. The speed of the welding is very important. Similarly, speed of the printer head or machine head is very important in 3D printing. It is almost in the range of 40 to 60 millimeter per second is a very high speed.
process. Keeping the same uh, other parameter, if you change the speed 5%, 10%, you will find that the finished product component quality will be different. In the picture, you can see if speeds are changed, the component finishing will get changed. Now, with this uh, 8, 9 different problem normally comes in the build stage. So, you now build the component correctly. It is not the end. Then, the removal of the component is also challenging in 3D printing process. Though we are talking about an advanced manufacturing uh, process, 3D printing or additive manufacturing, but till now, this removal of the component is doing manually and which is a very skillful job and which also needs sometimes some special tooling, etc. Otherwise, your OK component can may be rejected or partly damaged or fully damaged. It needs uh, then the you know removal of the supports etc it also needs very uh, skillful hand and lot of special uh, tools then the seventh step that is during the post processing after removal from the machine it needs to be cleaned some undesired supports needs to be removed it needs to be smoothened primer painting some kind of metal painting epoxy painting or maybe vapor cleaning etc so so many uh, process are there mostly manual some of are mechanized those are the things actually needs to be taken care in 3d printing process and uh, i hope uh, you have got some idea actually what are the problem normally people face in uh, 3d printing process thank you so much for your attention and time